Hello friends, this video on sound part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we saw that sound travels both through solids as well as liquids. But where do sound travel faster? Now is it something like, is it dependent, the speed of sound, is it dependent on the type of medium through which it is propagating? Yes, of course, it depends. And that is why it is seen that sound travels faster in solids than in liquids. So that means if sound has to travel through something like a wood or a metal, it will travel faster when compared to a liquid like water. Now you might be curious to know why is there a difference in the speed of sound in solids and in liquids. So let us see how exactly sound propagates. Now whenever we say that the sound is propagating, that is sound is nothing but a wave, right? So this wave is like a disturbance which makes the particles of the medium to vibrate. So here if you see this is a source of sound. This is maybe a speaker or something from which sound is being produced. And this is your ear which listens to that sound. So that means the sound is traveling from source to the human ear. So now when it travels, how it travels? It is nothing but it needs a medium so that the particles of the medium can vibrate. Now here what is the medium? Nothing but air. Now air contains a lot of tiny particles. Now these particles start vibrating. So here you see the black dots they represent the particles of the medium that is particles of the air. Now just try to look at this overall picture. What do you feel? You feel as if things are moving in this direction. That is what you feel right when you look at the overall picture. Right? Now, what you try to do is just try to observe the movement of one dot. So what do you see? How is this one particular dot moving? It is just vibrating about its mean position like this. That's how it is moving. Just try to observe some other dot, any dot of your choice. Just try to observe one particular dot and again you will see that it is nothing but it is just moving like this. It is just a to and fro motion. So basically when you observe it minutely, you will see that all the particles of the medium, they are just vibrating. They are doing nothing else. They are just vibrating and they are transferring the energy to the neighboring particles and that is how sound is propagating from one place to another. So this is how sound propagates in simple words. Now, when I talk about solids and when I talk about liquids, how do they differ? So that's what we have to see. Now here, looking at this, you will see that the, at certain regions, it is quite dense. There are too many particles. Again, for some region, less particle. Again, dense. So somewhere it is dense, somewhere it is less dense, right? You see, these lines, wherever you can see, they are like more dense areas where there are more particles. So based on that, if you plot a graph, this is how you will get. You will get crest and troughs. And that is how you define the wave nature of sound. So that is one thing. We will not get into all those details. So I hope you understood how sound is propagating. Now let us look at the scenario of a solid and a liquid. Now whenever you talk about a solid, in, in a solid the particles are more. The so particles are closely packed. So the intermolecular space is less. So you see more closely packed arrangement in solids. Whereas in case of liquid, the gaps are more, the intermolecular spaces are more. So in liquid, it is lesser. So in case of solid, since the number of particles are more, so the chances of one particle hitting a neighboring particle is also more. Therefore, the propagation is going to be faster because the propagation of sound happens with the help of vibration of each particle of the medium. So if the medium is a solid, that means there are more particles present. More particles, more vibration, more transfer of energy. So faster propagation. So that is why sound travels faster in solids when compared to liquids. Again, if you uh, look at uh, the, the way it is getting propagated. So this concept will remain the same whether it is solid or liquid. It is just that uh, the speed of sound, the speed of propagation will change. Now let's talk about gases. So what do you say? Sound travel through gases? Yes, of course. Had it not been traveling through gases, we would have not been able to hear each other's uh, statements. That's because when we talk to each other, 
the medium which is present around us is nothing but air so in air the sound sound is able to travel speed of sound through air is approximately 330 meters per second that is the approximate value for speed of sound through air thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.